from Arif Mohammed. And so Matt required rate almost over 10 and over. It's going to be a tough one here for for the unruly boys, but um, they've come to compete, and I'm pretty sure that they will do that. So with that, we are just getting ready to start here. We'll as Mark Tyrell has been given the ball, so he will come into ball to Dominic Ricky. Ricky has had a very good uh, 2020 season, and he's going to be a key man here to to post or to mount some bit of reply. 218 is the target, so we're just about as we see the umpire, umpire Iqbal Pervez, has thrown the ball, the new ball, to Mark Tyrell, and it will be Mark Tyrell who will come in to start. makes a good start, that ball to start, Dominic Ricky just reaching for a ball outside the off stump on a quiet start here for the, the unruly team, winning the toss, selecting their ball first and so they've, they've been asked to get a massive 218, so the ball worked into the onside, an easy single to start things here for Dominic Ricky. So things are on the way here. It's one without loss. Mohammed comes into strike. And both openers here, Dominic Ricky and Arif will be very key men. So an asking rate of almost 11 and over. Mark Tyrell has made a good start. He's bowled a couple of balls. He's only given up one, so Arif on strike. Oh, lovely shot through the offside. A chase there for Leon Mahabir. He will not get there. In fact, Mahindra Prasad. And it goes away for four. So, lovely shot down the ground from Arif Mohammed. He picks up a bungle. It's five without loss. So, good looking shot from Arif Mohammed, the left hander. I think he got a hundred in the in one of these series as Tyrell runs in again. Uh, play and a miss. Ball goes into the glove of uh, Francis Mendonca. So still some ways to go. 213 from 116 balls. Trying to go through the onside, ball taken out of the path. Could be leg by here, we'll wait and see. In fact, uh, uh, leg by is the call from umpire Iqbal Pervez. And so another run is added to the card. Six for no loss. We are still in the first over. A tidy one so far from uh, Mark Tyrell. And only six uh, coming off the over. Five will be in his analysis. We've seen a leg by. And now the diminutive, prolific uh, Dominic Ricky. Yeah, he's given a chance. Oh, a bad news for Paddy Judge catch. And so Dominic Ricky survives. And so that completes the first over. And after one is seven without loss, man. Ball in, hanging in the air for a long time. Should have been taken. And so Dominic Ricky will be quite happy that um, 
He's still out in the middle. So seven for the loss. Uh, we've seen the first over by Mark Tyrell. And now Chilson Carmichael, the left arm seaman, bowls a little bit of everything. So it's my privilege uh, to bring into the box. I'm in company with uh, Mark O'Dane and little Matthew. But first we'll go to Mark. Mark, welcome to Basley Pond Park. The big score on top. And so they need 218 to win this one. Thanks very much. So ball turned into the onside and uh, Dominic Ricky, Mark, uh, in fact, wide is the signal. And Mark, you've seen you've, you've seen a bit of uh, of Dominic Ricky. He's been prolific this season. Yes, I um, scored actually two twenty twenty centuries in New Jersey, the CLNG. Um, been doing well so far and in the minor league, he's been very consistent as well. A couple half centuries, back to back half centuries. So he's in fine form, so if an rule is to get that total, he have to bat right through the innings. Yeah, 217 built on a big, big knock from Derek Narain again, he got 110. And also we saw Dino Chowinam getting 39, so they've, uh, they've piled on the score. And Carmichael to Arif Mohammed. Arif has 100 al already in the series, not too sure if it's the Saturday T20 or the Sunday T20s. So he looks, he looks to be a capable player. Oh, smashed into the onside. Feel the weight for the bounce. Yeah, the, field, the fielder should be running in, actually walking with the ball. That would be an easy comfort for the pass. Um, elementary mistake there by the field on the boundary. And so 10, 10 without loss. We're in the second over. Carmichael, Michael, very versatile cricketer, does have the ability to bowl from left arm seam, but seems to be doing some orthodox left arm next spin. Oh, shot through the offside, could be racing up towards the cover boundary. A little bit of delayed start from Derek Narayan, and in fact we get the signal now from umpire Glenn. And a good looking shot for uh, Tom Nick Ricky is 14 about last mark. Yes, that was an exquisite shot by Ricky. He brought his left foot to the pitch of the living, drove it nicely to the cover boundary. Typical uh, cricket shot. Beautiful batting by the youngster. Yeah, Ricky will have to probably match uh, Derek Narain's big hundred here today. In fact, uh, 110, not a big hundred, but very important hundred in context of T20 cricket. This camp and throw beating uh, beating the field of uh, Francis Mendonca. Yes, Francis Mendonca seems to be very energetic these days. Um, a very fit young man too. Um, good cricketer, good little keeper. You know, the live wire behind the stumps. Yeah, in addition to his cricketing career, Mark, uh, Francis Mendonca does participate in marathons around the, around the country. It's a single here to Arif Mohammed as uh, they'll need a big start, they'll need good batting roll all the way through. And so, 16 on the board. Good batting so far by the opening pair. Good rotation of the strike as well. And then we're in the power play. Michael comes up, balls to Ricky for defensive, solid as a rock, and back to the bowler. Completes the over. Uh, so the late, latest score here is 16 without loss. Uh, yes, Mark, uh, 16 on the board, they all need. The scorecard is telling me it needs 202 from 108 balls, and might have been, looking back at the, at the Phoenix in this, might have been undone by a couple of drop catches of, uh, of Derek Narain, but we all know that's part of the game, so there's no crying over spilled milk now. 
Exactly. In, in T20, you got to make um, take out all the opportunities given to you as a, a fielder. Um, one mistake could be could cost you the game, basically. It's a fast-paced game, and you don't want to back, you don't want to drop two of the players. You understand because they capitalize and basically beat you out of the game. So it's going to be Mark Terrell going to come up from the coming to the board end. It's going to go to Arif Mohammed. Short and Mohammed plays that. Going to short third man. He will pick up. Throws into Mendonca. So Terrell coming off a longish run from this 30 yard circle. Pretty sharp. Yeah, they've decided to go with Mark Terrell from this side and then Carmichael a little bit of like spin from the bottom end. So we've seen it in 20 cricket, the importance of bowling slow. So Terrell comes up and goes, are we finally hits it in the air? Goes up now and oh, one bounce, the ball doesn't go into the bungus. And in the meantime, the batsman crossed for two runs there. So that was a, a tricky shot by Arif. He wasn't to the pitch of the movie, but he went to the, to the shot. And if Moran was a little bit more agile, he would have taken an easy catch, but probably used up all his energy from making that beautiful century. Well, yes, Mark hanging in the air for some time. So Mark Tyrell runs into Arif, and Arif is spinning the ball, going down the legs, a big swing and a miss. Will take on the pad, and this is T20 cricket mark. It's a big score. Batsman will have to take a little bit more chance than they were probably would have had to, and it's the power play. So a couple of couple of reasons to really go big. Yes, in the, in the power play, somebody has to put their hands up and um, take the chance, take the risk, um, and sacrifice for the team because a good start in the power play, chasing 217. You never know what could happen in the later innings. So not a bad over so far, in fact only a couple of runs as Tyrell runs into ball to Arif and Arif gets a ball that is well ball here for Mark Tyrell, does well to just stops the ball out in the offside and the score remains at 18 for none. Yeah, good ball into far by Tyrell, that delivers, as you know in T20 cricket, that delivers a goal and the main purpose of the bowler is just try to outsmart the batsman, keep the batsman quiet. So mm -hmm. Mark, and Mark with chasing over 200. All the bowler needs to do is not necessarily get 10 wickets here, they just have to bowl economical. Yeah. Terrell comes up goes to Arif Arif, good pushes out to extra cover then they run. Arif, left-handed batsman, upright stance, and the field for Terrell. A slip, back at point, point, extra cover. Man on the long arm boundary, man on the cold corner boundary, short mid wicket, and a short mid on inner two. So, two on top of the mark now. Well, chat in the field there, the inner China and Kigana. Chari Nam has good reason to really uh, lead the chat, he's the captain, so trying to give a lot of signals, some of them orally, and then of course. With a hand movement, tidy over so far. Yep. It's two runs in from the commentary to boot and comes up now. Post to Arif and Arif is back. Is it lovely into the extra cover region now? Run. So Arif would need to get on with it. Um, so the total is 18 without loss from four overs. Yeah, it's been a tidy over here for Mark Tyrell. He's uh, probably. And the second ball, ball went up high in the air for a long time. Derek Narain was probably a little bit, um, a little bit fun wanting there not to get to the ball. But at the end, Montarell has really put in a couple of good overs here so far. So 18 on the board, three of us gone. Arif Mohammed is on eight. Dominic Ritty is on seven. And as usual, Carmichael will continue. There's still a long way to go, 200 from 102 balls. Seems like they're falling behind the run rate. They're running behind the eight ball. Uh, somebody would really need to get on with it. Get a couple good overs, 15, 14 from the over. They're at the scoring rate, back to where it's required. And that's a beautiful shot by Dominic Vicky. Over, extra cover for six. Fantastic. Easy on the ice stroke. 
classy batsman. Oh uh, yeah, lovely shot once he got to the pitch of the ball. He just carried through. And Dominic Ricky, he's dominating at times. Lovely shot, uh, all the ease in the world. And so the score quickly goes up to 24 without loss. We're in the fourth over. I guess so, um, maybe Dominic Ricky would have to take the responsibility and, and try to get the scoring rate up from par and um, pair his team to victory if we have to get a victory today because um, in 20 cricket you need one batsman to bat as deep as possible in the innings um, the longer you bat it's the easier batting become and the more runs you accumulate to Carmichael sorry to Carmichael from the far end left arm orthodox spin throws the ball from hand to hand and it's going to come up from ball to Ricky comes up ball to Ricky shot and Ricky is forward in defensive, immaculate defensive shot, looks good in defense, especially yeah. it back to the ball and there's no run. Yes, yeah, smart batting from Ricky, follows up the big shot with just trying to survive still. Yes, good good batting by Ricky here, Michael comes up and bowls and swings across the line, Ricky Ferris, all right, all right, all right, all right, swinging across the line, it's out to LPW, Michael, come, Michael strikes. And, and really in big trouble there, losing the prolific match with Dominic Ricky, pin across the line, a bad shot. Just straight delivery, and the umpire ruled in a primitive blend. Uh, yes, Mark uh, trying to go across uh, the data from the um, from the left arm spin of uh, Carmichael. So Carmichael has made an e e a quick inroads there, very early one. And the big wicket of Dominic Ricky now as he walks back to the shade. To replace by it appears to be uh, Lee Magnelli. Yeah. So, so Ricky was um, under pressure to, to score because um, the scoring rate wasn't picking over, and as the main batsman in the team, I think the other batsmen from just tapping the ball and not trying to rotate the strike put him under pressure and in and enforce a uh, foul shot. Yeah, more pressure on, more pressure on on really chasing a big score, and now they need. 194 from 99 balls. They've lost to Dominic Ricky, certainly one of their best batsmen. So they will have to look beyond Ricky and try to build from McNally and, and the others to come. We see Arif Mohammed out in the middle. And Arif Mohammed, he's used up 12 balls. He's only on eight. And McNally, we know he can give the ball a tap to complete all around the um, mark. Yes, McNally out of Jamaica. A good cricketer. Good fast medium bowler, good strike of the ball. Um, I saw him play a couple of handy innings in the past. So he will be facing the bowling of Carmichael, Tristan Carmichael. Or he calls himself Tristan Carmichael. Or in, in the early days he used to call himself Lara, and he used to play in Brooklyn Cricket League. That's well. So McNally comes into strike. Here is Carmichael. McNally gets a throw ball. Big appeal again. Not as so is umpire. Umpire Glenn Narai. So confident appeal and a chance of a, of a run out here too. So uh, umpire um, Iqbal Perez, the man of school. In fact, both umpires have been called in to, to make a decision here. In fact, Glenn Narai. Big appeal for a leg before, and then when that didn't go right, the axe umpire Iqbal Perez, a square leg, what's going on? Um, so, a <laughs> double appeal, both umpires involved. Well, that was a close call for McNally, because it's full, more pitched up, but from a vantage point, you can't see if it was in line. So, McNally lived to fight another day. Yeah, it was a very good ball. Ball seemed to have dipped on him, trying to go for the on drive. Carmichael has pulled extremely well in the silver. He's gone for six off the first ball, but look at the other balls. He's really come back with dot, wicked dot. Yeah, he's developed into an experienced cricketer. Eh? And now he's back. The shot of a good length plays it out to short, maybe 15 in the right. fields, and there's no run. Yeah, the Phoenix brand, they're in a couple of big important match today, final, tomorrow, semi final. Uh, big swing and a miss, big appeal, not out say he's on fire in the rain and so that completes a very good over from Carmichael, only six off the over in which he picked up the wicket of Dominic Ricky and at the end of four, it's 24 for one. Yeah, that was a good over by uh, Carmichael, uh, two overs to 15 runs, one wicket, 24 for one, 24 for one. So it seems like it's going to be terror, still going to be on the attack. 
I mean, all these bowlers have to do is just bowl dark balls, just feel pressure and put the batsman under pressure. Uh, 217 runs in T20 is a, a high, big total, big acts. And runs on the board is runs on the board in the final. Uh, yes, Mark, you don't lose too many T20 matches with 217 on the board. It simply means that something has really gone wrong with your bowling. I uh, just need the batsman played well as well. Yeah. So Mark Tyrell, he's bowled, let's look at his bowling figure, two of his moments, none for eights. In the context of any any limited over game, that's excellent bowling figures. Yeah, very economical bowling so far. Four runs for over. So McNally. Sorry, Tyrell goes and he plays that ball in the air. He's not he's, he's caught by Leon Mahadi on the boundary. Mark Tyrell's tried to shot his delivery and that's it. Pulling it in, in the air and the fielder was placed correctly in the boundary and took a beautiful catch. Lynn. Yeah, short ball. He went for the pole, didn't, didn't get hold of it. So that's the end of Arif Mohammed. So they're in big trouble now. Of course, we saw the departure of uh, Dominic Ricky and now they're a couple of top, top bat batters at the top of the middle are back in under the trees. So 24 for two, not, not looking good here at all. No, no, not looking good. Um, as I said, 217 runs is an uphill task and the batsmen have to keep the scoreboard ticking. And as I say, if the bowlers keep bowling those dark balls and line and length, and um, go to their field, they put the batsman with pressure to do something out of character. And that's exactly what Arif did because he, was, he couldn't get the ball away. And uh, success there for Mark Tyrell from good bowling. And Mark also the, the build up of pressure from several no balls by Mark Tyrell and even for Carmichael has now really um, took its toll. And so the batsmen were forced to really go big. And in fact, uh, sometimes uh, it might not have been the best ball for it for them to, to put an attacking shot but uh, they have to go yeah but sometimes it's the ball before that out you it's not the current ball that you get the wicket so troy healy comes to the middle but he will have to wait on uh, maybe a moment or so as mcnally would have crossed so mcnally will be on strike mark tyrell has picked up one and so 24 for two on really struggling here a bit as they still need 194 from 95 balls Troy Healy is a new batsman, flexing his arms. Ricky keep a member of his standing up. McNally is going to face Lee McNally, the man from Jamaica. He's going to face Mark Terrell, coming from the commentator's boot end. And the field for McNally is slip, point, extra cover, cover mid off. Terrell runs away from the commentator's boot end. Bows to McNally and he's in behind it. Ball cutting in, and plays it down to short, fine leg, and the field goes down on field. Actually, misses the ball and is a leg by signal by the umpire. Brings Troy Haley into strike. Yeah, Haley is a very aggressive player. Likes to get out with it. We need something special from, from the likes of Troy Haley, McNally, and whoever to come. And all Phoenix will probably need to do. They'll just have to, to bowl containment. They've picked up two wickets already. Two balls, and that's a rocker length delivery, full delivery, just about six inches outside the off stump. Really plays and misses, and we could keep a cut. Francis Mendoza did not pull it cleanly. So good bowling by Terrell, he's bowling full, and the ball is doing something in the air. And as full as he bowls, the ball is getting some movement. And we could keep Mendoza standing up, putting some pressure on the batsman to leave his crease. So Mark Terrell, Boston start to run up from the commentary to boot and comes up also here with Haley. It's quickly lovely shot, there's runs in the making uh, the ball is going down towards the boundary, scores up just in front of the boundary and Randy Wilson comes off and throws in one bounce to the feeder. So two runs there to Haley, good looking shot there Len. Ah uh, yeah, lovely shot, uh, clipped it nice into the onside. Wilson done, uh, has done well to come around just restricting the batsman to a couple of runs, so 27 for two, still a long way to go. So here comes Tyrell from the commentator board and goes to Haley short and Haley plays it off officially. Four runs, the ball beats the fielder over his head. Wasn't a chance of the catch. 
but it goes into the boundary, living dangerously here, they good delivery by Mark to the top of off stump, and the batsman just flashed at it, was in control of the shot, but it was over the feet ahead, and it went down to the boundary for four. Yeah, Mark, sometimes boundary comes in all fashion, doesn't matter, productive shot, call it what you may, but uh, it's still after the scorecard, so seven of the servers so far. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't matter how you get them, as long as you get them. So, Mark Terrell runs away from the command to boot and into Haley. Shot in Haley, hits it in the air. It goes off the edge again and it goes down to the boundary for another four. Living dangerously, batting aggressively as well. He was in control of the shot, but he got the result he needed. Four more runs to the total. Yeah, Mark, 35 for two. They say in sports, you, you make your own luck. Yes. And some aggression sometimes, it doesn't matter how they come. So, Troy Haley, a couple of boundaries towards the end here. And so at the end of five, it's 35 for two. So 35 for two. At the end of five, they're going seven and over. And it seems like it's going to be Trinity Carmichael to pick up the attack, continuing his bowling spell so far. He has bowled two overs. Now maybe 15 runs, one wicket. Scoring the economy rate of 7.5. Two wides in his spell so far. Okay. Now he's going to be taking strike. Yeah, he's bowled well and the mark just before uh, uh, Carmichael gets ready to bowl. Or maybe I'll, I'll allow the first ball to go through, but uh, just want to, to pick up here from the Phoenix run this season. So Carmichael uh, shows the ball from hand to hand and comes up both in McNally. He hits it back oh, A half chance. Strike mid hard. Back to the bowler, but the bowler just coming out of left hand, but couldn't grasp it. And that, that's kind of a dangerous shot early in the over. And Michael Bolsi, McNally swings across the line, misses, uh, took the other portion of the bat, goes down to first if it burnt around, please, just a Mendel, and then they get back to the bowler. So, so far, excited over. So yeah. far, action, both deliveries. Uh, Michael has uh, contained McNally to a couple of dot balls, runs it now to ball to McNally. McNally gets a short pitch ball, stabs it out towards the offside. And uh, Mackenzie, usually behind the, the sticks today, giving up the glove to Francis Mendonca. He runs around, picks up 35 for two. Yeah, you might see Mackenzie doing a few of his too. Very good bowling so far by Carmichael, right up in the glove hole. Dark deliveries, putting pressure there. Four deliveries, no run to far. Excellent bowling, excellent to 20 bowling to far. That left arm spinner. Wow. Beautiful bowling there by Carmichael. It was short and McNally was on the back foot of the extra cover. So there's no run. A dot ball here would uh, give him a maiden. So five dot balls. Here we go. Carmichael comes with the ball to McNally. McNally's ball! He's bowling! Beautiful delivery! Oh my gosh, that's going mess me. He was building the pressure and he, there's a pressure bus pipe and that was a beautiful delivery there by Cam Michael. Let the leg stump completely out of the ground. That was a fantastic delivery, Len. Oh my goodness, what a build up. Five dot balls and then comes the biggie. So McNally put on the pressure by five dot balls, certainly. And he loses his leg stump. Carmichael has picked up, uh, what, his second wicket? Yes, uh, as, as I always say, I was saying before, the pressure, if you, if you can't keep bowling the bat deliveries, it induces the batsman to play a four stroke to score. And that ball was an arm ball, came right back in there. And McNally missed it, and the leg stump went spectacularly for a walk. Good ball in here by Trinity Carmichael. So it's a main wicket by Trinity Carmichael. Yeah, it's a very, very, very good stuff. Very tidy stuff from Carmichael. He's a top player. Complete all-rounder. He's one of the better fielders around here. So you're always into the game. So Mark Tyrell will come back into the attack. He's pulled exceptionally well. Let's look at what he's done so far. He's been very tidy. Three overs, no mid one for 80. He's gone for six and over. Still permittable when you're chasing 11 and over, so he's done well. He's, he's bowled beyond the asking run rate or under the asking run rate. In the meantime, the new batsman comes to the middle. It's Caron 
Sue Noray. And he will join Troy Haley, who has, uh, who has uh, chanced his luck quite well. And he's up to 10 from, uh, from four balls. So Terrell, he runs up now, goes past the umpire, goes to Haley, and Haley is back and plays it. Good looking shot this time, open the face of the bat, in control of that shot. Down to third man, Tigana McKenzie comes off the boundary, underarms it to the keeper Mandalco, and gets a one around. So the total goes up to 35, 35 for three. So it's been a very good season for the Phoenix boys, part of the brand of the Richmond Hill Liberty Association. So on Saturday cricket, different leagues, Mark, you play on the different names sometimes, Phoenix. Yeah, so it's Tyrrell comes up, balls, and that's a beautiful delivery. A good out swing, a pitch on top of off stump and moved away and well collected by the keeper, Mandonka standing up. Good out swing there by Mark Tyrrell. Yeah. Uh, batsman just very, very shot. Yeah, Mark, Mark, uh, Mark Tyrrell has really pitched the ball up, which is essentially the basics of an opening bowler. Allow the ball to swing, allow the batsman to play on their front foot. And he's done that relatively well so far. Yes, and he's not straight. He's sticking to the outside the off some line and length. Terrell comes up, pulls the Shinawa, and Shinawa goes back and pushes on to extra cover gets off the mark. Moran picks up and throws in. So no ball, no ball one, free hit followed. So free hit for Troy Haley. No ball. Empire just showing the bowler where he overstepped. So far, Mark Tyrrell, good spell to 20 cricket. 3.2 of us, he made his 19 runs for one wicket, economy of 5.7. So free hit ball, everyone will count. I'm pretty sure Troy Haley, who, who has gone aggressively well, free hit or no free hit. And now we'll get a chance to free his arm mark. Tyrrell comes up, goes to Haley, Haley swings it in the air. Goes down to the boundary to Ghana Mackenzie Ave, picks the catch, fumbles it, but one run in the total. So a few hits, basically just swing for the heavens, and one run to the total. So you could say good delivery so far by Toro. Yeah, big swing, a free swing here from Troy Haley. He's, he's really favored the third man area. In fact, all his scoring shot has been in, in that vicinity. And if that continues to go, Mark, we'll probably have to get the captain to have two third man. So yeah, I think he plays with a broken pace as well. So we've got 6.3, 6.3 balls so far, three balls in the over, three legal balls, although Mark would have, uh, Mark Tyrell would have run up four times, one of them being a no ball. So Caron Sunarain, the man on strike. So it comes up position around his drive, good looking shot in the covers there, gets one. And that's all we'll get. Good feeling by Aldi. Throws it, the left-handed Aldi. Picks up right over one down to Francis Mendoza. Brings Troy Haley into strike. So a beautiful there. Uh, the base of Pan. About 70 degrees. Sunny Rolls in all his glory. Uh, yes, Mark. Uh, November the 7th. Uh, you can't complain with a weather like this. It's very warm in the park. It's an Indian summer. So 40 for 3, here is Tyrell, runs into ball to Troy Haley, Haley has been quite aggressive, and he goes big into the onside, Carmichael comes around, can't reach the ball, and it goes away for a maximum, so good looking shot from Troy Haley, he goes up to 18, and that's a good looking shot. Yes, good looking shot by Haley, ball was on about leg stump, and he came through an on drive it beautifully, and he got a maximum for that shot. So anything on the left side as a batsman, it's basically a free hit at this time of cricket. Yeah, yes, Mark. So just to, uh, while, while Mark Tyrell will get back to the top of his mark, the Phoenix boys, they return tomorrow uh, to the park with a semi-final game against New York Zalmi. And the winner will take on the ma Mighty Majestics in the final right here at Basley Pond Park. So still a lot of cricket left. Yeah. Tyrell comes up. Goes to Haley, Haley is hitting it in the air. The field is almost cut on the boundary. Wilson settles on board and he takes the catch. Beautiful catch in the air by Wilson. Good catch from Wilson there. He skied it and Wilson positioned nicely and took it in a proved manner. A bit low, but in a proved manner, Australian style. And he walks back. Good ball in there by Mark Tyrell. Yeah, Troy Haley might have been, might have been out talked by some sledging going on in the field. He escaped into that. 
And a well judged catch. He had to wait a long time around on Wilson, so the, uh, the fourth wicket goes down. It's 46 for four as Troy Haley walks back under the trees. And it's good, good bowling here by the two opening bowlers for Phoenix. Pat Michael bowling the immaculate line and length. And Tyrrell supporting from the other end, bowling good line and length, good areas. Finishes his spell. Uh, four overs, no minutes, 29 runs, two wickets, economy rate of 7.25. Fantastic goal in here in the, by Mark Tua. So Mark, while well, well, those viewers are probably watching the game, might be wondering to know what happened earlier on. So I'll quickly run through the scorecard. Derek Murray, 110, Shawinam 39, Ronald Wilson 18, Hamindra Ramdi Hall 8, Carmichael for 6, Mendonka for 3. Uh, Inatul Abedin for 14, Mahendra Prasad for 10, Tegana McKenzie, he was not out not. 217 posted by, by Phoenix, and the big news coming out of that, it is possibly an MVP um, candidate, uh, Derek Narayan, he got 110. Yes, Derek Narayan played nicely today. How many maximum did he hit, 10 or, or 9 maximum? So we'll pick up that bit of uh, thing with with Matthew in a second, but um, Terence Madramuzu has come to the middle. And so he comes to the middle at 46 for four. Um, good chance Carmichael will continue here. In fact, he is, uh, has the ball in his hands. Three overs, one in, two for 50 mark. And so 46 for four, Matt, in the, in the, at the end of seven as Carmichael We'll come back into the attack. So Carmichael, 2 for 15, comes into ball to Madramutu. Madramutu gets a ball that he works it out towards the onside mark and can't score mark. The, the highlight of uh, Derek Narain in this is 10 sixes and six fours. Yeah, so that's 84 batsman. runs in, in boundaries alone. Yeah. Aggressive batsman. Comes up also, Najamutu pushes it out to extra cover run, and there's no run. So, current Najamutu, aggressive batsman by nature. Hits a long ball. Always backs himself to play the boundary. So Pam Michael is going to come into ball to Terence Najimoto, comes up forcing Najimoto, takes a lovely shot, there's runs in the making, ball seems like it's going down to those boundary, the feelers running around, and the ball beats the feeler and goes into the boundary for four runs there. Good looking shot by Cody Boy, ball yeah. was on his legs and he, he kicked it, it was a, a, a cool leg, leg lance or a, a kick. Yeah, Terence Madramoto is... Uh one or the other, complete all-rounder, good off-spinner, but back pretty well. So asking rate is about 15 runs and over. We're going just over six. So big difference, ball worked into the onside. Fielder has taken the catch, but the ball has gone over the rope. And so six runs off the bat of Terence Madramutu is 56 for four. Yes, that was a good shot by Madramutu. Seems to favor the onside as well. Good accomplished player, but that was a beautiful bat. Good song, Willow led on Willow there. Yeah, Madramoto goes up to 10 from four balls, 1-6 and 1-4, so he's dealt in boundary so far. Have to get a lot more of those in. 162 from 74 balls. And that is a good shot by Najimuti. Pushes it into extra cover and a two of threes and there's no run. So, for Unruly to get this total, Najimuti have to play blind in in here today. Comes up first, looking at him, reacting on the pad, they appeal for leg before. Ball going down the leg stump. Ends the over. So the latest score here at the base of Pan. Unruly chasing 217. 56 for 4 from 7.5 overs. Yeah, a long way to go, 162 from 72 balls. 
So the likes of uh, Terence Matramutu and Keron Sinoreni will have to see what they can do. They've lost four wickets so far. Let's let, let's take a look and see what has happened. Ricky for 13. Arif Mohammed for eight. McNally without without a score on the board. Troy Haley a quick fire 18. Keron Sinoreni is on two. Matramutu is on 10. And we'll have to wait and see who will pick up the attack here. Mark Tyrell, I think, has been relieved. Seems like Liam Mohabir will let break with the bowler. So, Mohabir is an interesting bowler. Good leg spinner. I remember when he just came to, um, when he just came to America as a young lad. So the bowler, bowler is assisting the captain setting the field and it's going to be Shane Ryan facing and it's going to be Liam Mohabe comes up Shane Ryan drives down to long on to comes off the boundary and gets a single brings Cooley boy Terence Najimoto into strike So Mohabe, Mohabe has shown the ball from hand to hand. Leg break in Kuglis. So Madramoto is on 10. He's dealt in boundary so far. So the Phoenix team, they will take on Zalmi tomorrow. New York Zalmi in the New York National League Sunday T25 uh, semi-final. And with the news that uh, Majestics are like uh, Mumbai Indians, they wait for the winner tomorrow. That was a good delivery there by Mohammed. Seems like off break. Came up in a portion of the bat and went out to the wicket where you know Carrie and Fields and Batsman Cross will run. Yeah well put together Yannick by Phoenix this year. They have some very talented players around. Oh big shot from Carrot. This one has gone a long way. It's out of the playing area by some yards. And he's gone for six, big shot mark. Yeah, that was a good strike there by Sumeran. He got under the ball, and it was like a half volley, but he got under the ball, and the bat came nicely through it, and nice song on the back there, and the ball went miles over the boundary for six beautiful runs. Yeah, that's a good shot to play to work up from an off spinner. They tend to spin into your zone, so that's a good bit of hit. And Keron Sumeran has picked up, a, he's picked up his first boundary. He's up to nine for five balls. It's 64 for 4, still a long way to go. Yeah, so Mohamed under pressure. He comes up, goes to Shinawan, Shinawan, goes there. The shot again, the ball is coming down to the boundary. And also 6 runs as well. 6 more runs. Toss up. Toss up and Shinawan again, but this one didn't have the elevation. And the ball just went hopped over the boundary for 6 runs. Good back into Tupar by Shinawan. Yeah, that ball threatening the calm box. Not too sure what I've done to Keron Cena Rain, but uh, <laughs> certainly was very close in my vicinity. And so 74 four. Is this a fight back from Keron and, and the likes of Terence Madramutu, Mark? Yes, they'll need a good partnership. Man. If they could back at least another four overs, carry the runs deeper, you never know what could happen. A good batting so far by Shinarine and Terence Madramutu. Good matter, shit big enough. Liam Mohabe comes up, pushes to the right, he goes back and ball he spins into him, pushes out on the offside where short mid off with the green and there's no run. So Shinaran shaping up good today. Mohabe comes up, goes to Shinaran. And again he hits it in the air. This time he could be in trouble. Oh six more runs. Wilson on the boundary, trying to stop the ball and trade up. Um, like Karen Pillar there, but the ball hits his hand and went over the boundary for another six. So, Shinawine, three winning sixes here, maximums, three sixes in the over so far. And brings it into Liam Mohabe, first over, expensive over, under pressure. The latest score here then, it's uh, 76 for four. Uh, yes, Mark, 76 for four at the end of nine. And uh, Randall Wilson got into position to catch, but he just ran out the ground. Run out of real estate? Yes, yeah, that, but that was a very good effort there. That would be a spectacular catch if he took it like that. 20 off that over. 
on Rulli will require quite a bit of more, uh, quite a bit of uh, of that as Derek Narain has been brought into the attack. And Mark just coming back to the toss, uh, considering you, you, you know the Phoenix boys, would you have uh, won the toss and elected to bowl with a powerful batting lineup as uh, no, no, as no. the Phoenix boys? No, because in the final with a good batting lineup, you, you want to get as much runs on the board as possible and put the Phoenix team under pressure. Runs on the board in the final is all this pressure. Yeah, we were over on the other side and then players coming into uh, into the ground, backing on Rooley was very perplexed as why they would win the toss and give the likes of Derek Narain and Chow Nam a chance yeah. to strike early. Yeah, two of the most devastating batsmen in New York uh, cricket, Chow Nam and Narain. As Dina Chow Nam picks up the attack from the far and comes up for so pretty boy, pretty boy, plays it down to mid wicket on the bound with the field and comes up, Chinsa Michael picks up, chosen, one bounce to the bowler. So one more run to the total, one more run to Najimuti, brings Sinarain in the strike. Now we go for cricket here at base the pan. So the captain into the attack, through the ball from hand to hand while the batsman takes his ball from the umpire. Dino China, I call him the New York Master Blaster. He's holding his left arm spin now. Comes up, balls to Chinaway, good delivery, pitch and half stump. Good delivery by Dino Bear. Yeah, sooner right, we saw him hitting into the zone of an off spin and now it's a different proposition as he's if he's uh, planning to hit, he will have to hit a cross. Chowdham comes up short in the He goes down the pitch and he's out stamp. He's out stamp. Down the river. Smart down there by Dino Chowdham and sledging him as well. Good cricket there by Francis Mendoka. And Simon Cook is there at Basley Pan as a really loose of foot for kicks there. Yeah, he came down the track and he was just making the point. It's going to be a different proposition. Uh, Chowdham is going to go away from the right hander. And he came down not judging the length of the delivery well. Yes, and that, that was smart bowling by Chowinam. And I think it was bad batting by Shinawan because Chowinam just came into the attack and he's bowling. He's taking the ball away from the batsman. Liam Mahabir deliveries is coming into the batsman. So he just gave him something different. And it was how it's stopped, as we see down the river. So the new batsman coming in is Michael Sultan. So unruly, it seems like an awful task here then. Phoenix 217 for 8 from 20 overs. Unruly 77 for 5 from 9.3 overs. Yeah, it's, uh, it's another good day at the park here for the Phoenix team. They've done well this season. They're playing uh, across a couple of tournaments, one of which the New York National. They have their uh, semi-final and final tomorrow, right here at Basley Pond Park. Yeah, Phoenix, uh, Richmond Hill, the seems to be a well-oiled machine. You know, good management. And most of the players have been playing together for a long time. So they have a good togetherness. And sometimes it's not the strength of the team, it's the togetherness of the team that can take you over the line. Yeah, they're, uh, they're on course here for perhaps a Saturday championship, Saturday T20 championship out of the um, New York National. They would have won, what, the 35 over mark a couple of Sundays ago? Yes, that was some good exciting cricket that was here as well. Um, they beat um, ECS over us. Yeah, that's a T uh, thirty-five. Uh, of course, the brand played it under the under the name of uh, Richmond Hill Liberty. As uh, Chowi now will come into both of Michael Sultan with uh, with a scorecard of reach seventy-seven for five. Not a pleasant one. Still requires one hundred and forty-one from sixty-three. Comes up to Sultan. Sultan is far defensive, and the ball goes out to short. Extra cover, and there's no run. So. NYNCL, good standard of cricket land this year. Not a good cricket is a good quality. Dino Chalham balls it, Sultan, Sultan flicks it, goes down to square like a feeder, comes off the boundary race and picks up fields and throws in to wicket keeper Mongolka. Uh, yes, Mark, the New York National League has really risen to the challenge of giving the boys something to play for this year. They've done extremely well, they've held tournament, tournament in short spaces and uh, one will have to look forward to see this league going from, from strength to strength. They've done exceedingly well this year. Yes. They've attracted some really good teams and some good level of cricket. 
Yes, very much so. So Madramuti is still there. He's on 12. And so with an asking rate of almost 14 runs and over 13.7 to be exact. Showing arm tidy so far. The batsman scampers for one run. That was short delivery there. And Majimoto off the back foot hit it to in a tool and fumbles and misfeels. And the batsman in the meantime cross from one brings that over to M. So it's we have this with half a stage in our arm then. Uh, yes, Mark, it's a long way to go. I remember the halfway stage of the of the Phoenix in this. They were batting 124, I think, for two. 124 for two. Marine was, was on course of smashing another century in the New York City area. So a big difference here. They, they not only have lost essentially half of their batting lineup, but they've only posted 79. So we'll take a short break here, as, uh, as the players will do. And we will rack with cricket uh, with the news. 79 for five years to score. On really chasing a mammoth 217 led by Derek Moran, who slammed 110. Yes. And thanks very much, Len, for the opportunity to come into the boot. Um, it was a pleasure to be here with you and young Matty and doing some commentary. Um, thanks. Yes. So, bye for now. We'll see you in five minutes. You know a bad man? How about ten knife in the car on the wrong side? Why you on this side? No, 
For the cricket as Derek Narayan comes into the attack. Uh, welcome back, Mark. Uh, single here to Madramutu. So 138 in 59 balls, not going to be an easy one. Yeah, it's going to be up here to us, as you see. You have to get like 20 runs at the over in order to achieve that. So Derek Narayan set in the field and he's going to come up from the commentator board end and he's Batsman, Len was a batsman, new batsman there. Oh, Michael Sultan. So, Sultan, a left handed batsman, and Derek Moran, fast medium. Bowling well from 10 paces. Comes up past umpire. And he's driving the ball, goes up, all the portion of the bat is going down to the third man boundary. Together. Picks up just inside the boundary and throws in one bounce to Mendo and two bounces to Mendo. In the meantime, the batsman cross for two runs. And Derek Narayan always with an interesting bowling action. Yes, uh, I was going to mention that. Something like a Soviet on there. Narayan comes up, goes to Sultan. Sultan is hitting it in the air. It seems like it's going to be all the fielders under it. Carmichael and takes a catch. Regulation catch for Carmichael. And who only needs another wicket? Derek Ryan gets into the business. And Len uh, Matty seems like he's in contention for the man of the match. Just come on and get a wicket as well. Yeah, definitely. He rings the century. I feel like the century alone qualifies him to be man of the match. But to top it all off, he's come in, he's got a wicket as well. So Derek Narayan, you can't keep him out of the game. Yes, and sometimes when you when you make runs in the batsman, the momentum goes with you. Anything you touch, goes to the goal. You're always in a positive mood, putting your best foot forward, and gets a wicket. He was high in the air. Trenton Carmichael making it look easy. 82 for six. Now I'm really, really struggling here. And it seems like there's a procession now, um, back and forth to the good place for Dylan. Here it is, Fuse Aziz is the new man in. And Rudy will almost have to double their run rate at the moment. Currently going at 7.8. Required rate is over 14. I would like to be neutral, but it doesn't look good for Anuruli. It's like it's an uphill task for them. Yeah, especially with six wickets down. We've seen a scorecard field with starts. Dominic Ricky 13 of 9. Troy Haley, 18 of 8. Karan Sunarine, 21 of 10. 
Moran comes up goes and Hughes pushes it down to short mid on and Quincy Michael Carmichael comes off the boundary and arms it to the, the bowler and one more run to the total Hughes gets off the mark So good bowling to far by Derek Moran, the economical bowling. It brings Terence Najimoto into strike. So correction, it's not Fuse Aziz, it's Stefan Rampasad, the new man in. He'll be facing Derek Narain. That's now it's Majimutu on strike. Playing a miss. It's a good economical ball in there by Denai. Narayan comes up also to measure more to slide the defeat and he just pushes it back to the bowler. So good ball in so far by Narayan, completes the over. It's one over for four runs. So the sun is out in all its glory, not a cloud in the sky. And um, it appears a change in run for the over. It's going to be Dina Charinam, left arm off the rocks from the far end. So far, he's bowled a tidy over to start. In T20 display, the ball, it seems like it's more difficult to hit the ball. So Stephen Rampasad faces this at out to short mid wicket, and there's no run. So Charinam between the umpire and the stumps. comes up, goes, and he, he drags it, tugs it across, pulls it down to the man on the square leg boundary, picks up and throws him to any two and gets one run there. <laughs> yeah. So, Nazimoto comes into strike and it's going to be Dino Charinam. They form Orthodox. Comes up also, Major Motor match is due to drive powerfully down to long off. And Tigana comes off the boundary, picks up Hughes, underarms it back to the bowler. One more run to the total. So the total goes up to 84 for 6 from 11.2 overs. China bowls, and the batsman came across the line there and goes the ball goes out to the short middle wicket and the two picks up and there's no run there. So good tidy over bowling by China. Reviewing his line and lens in pace, comes up both to Stephanie's forward, pushes it officially into extra cover and there's no run. So Charanam building a pressure here. 220. The batsman under pressure. The injuries are false. True. Charanam comes up light. And he goes and he good ball in there by Charanam. Ends the over. Matthew good over there by Charanam. Really good over and really good figures for him. Two overs, one for five for the wicket of Caron Sunarain. To the end, could have had quite an impact considering it already struck three sixes. He's just starting to really give on really a glimmer of hope. And then Chowinan came in, got the big wicket. Two overs for five for him. Derek Narain, one over for four. I think it was just an inexperience back in there by and China because he got 18 from one over and he just came to the wicket so a new bowler even if it's a 20 a new bowler into the attack you need to watch a few balls and see what the bowler is doing and evaluate before you make the decisions but, uh, definitely maybe feeling a bit tempted by Dino Chowinam considering he's probably not the biggest threat with the ball and Dino quite showing him that he is capable of taking wickets well, from my experience, um, most batsmen struggle against left arm spin, especially the slow left arm spin. So, the more likely China, um, the slower he bowls, most likely get more wickets as well. And you know, T20, it seems that like the spinners, the leg spinners, the left arm spinners, seems to be very successful in T20 cricket. So, Najimoto is going to be facing Derek Arai, and he comes up now from the commentator board M. And the edges, outside the person in the back, beats the third man, and it seems like it's close. 
down to the boundary, took out a Mackenzie picks up, kills him, and remains on the batsman cross for two runs. Matthew, that's with a streaky shot. Yeah, we've, we've seen quite a few of those in the Sam Hooley innings. Troy Haley got away with quite a few of them. They seem to be helping on Hooley get some runs here. It doesn't matter how they come. On Hooley, just be thinking that it does come. Still need 131 more. And just 47 deliveries to get it. So Najimoto is in 17. The line comes up also. Najimoto and hits a flat batted shot. And it comes down to long off and Matt Turay comes up, picks up underarms it. Two bounces back to the bowler. So let's look at Derek Narayan um, bowling action. You know, sometimes the batsman could get thrown off by the action like that. On our to box action. So up he comes. And he skies it. And it seems like Dina Chorinam is going to take the catch. He takes the catch. Got the delivery by Derek Narayan. Slow the delivery. You see. Rampasad, I mean, the pony is kind of the end. The captain takes the catch and, and really moves the seven wicket. It seems like the procession is as I said before, as the batsman there, Rampasad, walk back to the pavilion. Matthew commenting this over so far by Charina, by Exceptional, Charina. exceptional and getting Rampasad to sky one. The right, it was a slow delivery. Had to take his time and didn't quite get all of it. In the end, a simple, simple catch for Dino Charinam. Doesn't make any mistake. 88 for 7. And Derek Narayan picks up his second wicket already in just his second over. That was brilliant ball in there by Derek Narayan. Very in his pace, medium pace, but very in his pace and bowling a good accurate line and length. A very good cricketer, intelligent cricketer is Derek Narayan. Works hard on this game as well. In the off-season, see him at Storm practicing this every Sunday. And as I say, sometimes when you put in those hard work behind the scene, it pays off in the long run. Wow. So tomorrow's going to be, as I say, interesting um, cricket from Derek Moran. I mean, today he's playing with, with Phoenix and tomorrow he's playing with Majestic and Majestic is waiting in the final to play and Phoenix is playing in the semi-final tomorrow morning so interesting cricket so far but the new batsman now is Pius, Aziz and Derek Moran is into the attack again picking up the attack new batsman comes in but Najimoto is placed in now Ryan comes up, also Najimoto, Najimoto takes it out, cut delivery. Well picked up, Yorkel and delivery. Najimoto in the pure fashion, pushing it out to extra cover, there is no run. Derek Moran, bowling to a predominant offside field. A third man, point, sweep on the cover point, long with extra cover, long off. As now Ryan comes up, also Najimoto. Short delivery and he punches it off the back for a lovely shot. Goes straight out to the man, the sweep on the boundary. Mohadia underrounds it in the meantime. Come on, Fuse! Imagine Fuse what to before one round. So it brings Fuse into the attack, into strike, takes his guard from the umpire. Looks like center. So Anhori backs against the wall. Now Ryan comes up, goes to Fuse as he's on his drive, a lovely shot. In the throw banner, and he doesn't take a single. The ball goes down to the man on the boundary. So I guess Najimut is farming the strike. So Matthew, how was that over so far? Very good over from Derek Narayan. Four runs coming off it. 18.43 now the required rate in addition to the wicket. I didn't mention the wicket from Derek Narayan, the dismissal of Ram Prasad. And it does look that the chances of Anuruli are slimming by the over. Well, uh, as I say, we will need a miracle today to, to win this match, to come up with 217. Yeah, definitely. Derek Narayan was offering chances. He offered a few. I think might have been three catches put down. One on 38, one on 81, and the other one on 97. To, that brought up his 100 because it went for four. In fact, it went for six. 
Trying on balls, and Nigel Moody hits it high in the air. The feel is getting on there. He's coming in after the on the boundary. And he chops the catch. Liam Mahabi, the ball. Regulation catch running in. But the ball keeps running him around. And a miss there for Mohabi as Nigel Moody left to fight another day. So come back to Derek Orion. And in, I mean, as I said, they say fortune favors the brave when cricket. So most of the time it's the aggressive batsman. Most of the time he usually survives if he have chance, good chances. You know, the luck usually goes with you. Charlemagne comes up and he swats it across the line. Ball goes to in a tool and short the wicket. There's no run there. So good ball in here by Charlemagne. He's in his third over. Left arm auto got to two down behind the sub balls. And he's out caught behind. Bringing the caught behind by Francis Van Penka. Beautiful keeping here by the wicket keeper. Francis Mendelka, beautiful going there by Chowinam. As I say, a procession continues. And who really the eight wickets? Matthew. Yeah, I heard it from here. I'd have been surprised if it wasn't given out. But Fuz Aziz is on his way back. He hasn't troubled the scorers at all. He's gone without scoring. He's taken up three deliveries and wonder if you are to go without scoring, you might as well go first ball. 128 for four from 39 deliveries. There is the eighth nail in the coffin, as they say. And there's the second one for Dino Chowinam. He's really starting to put on a bowling performance here now. 2.3 overs, two wickets for six runs. And a very clinical performance here by Anhori. Very, um, by Phoenix. Very disciplined bowling, good errors, good field placement and the bowlers are putting the pressure on the batsman to score and um, good execution to find. So it was a bad decision by Anuri. I mean, you win the toss in the final, you bat and put the, the, the other team on the pressure when the, the batting of Chowinam comes up. Beautiful shot there by the batsman. New batsman in and just pushes it down to long off and there's a Gets a single. So Ragabir, Samuel Ragabir, is off the mark. Turns Najimutu, comes in to strike. China cuts up ball, Najimutu. Pulls away, dead ball, signal by the umpire. There was some movement behind the bowler's arm. And the batsman pulling away, so hold your horse's son. <laughs> So, lovely with the cricket here at the base beat over. Chowinam between the amp and the stumbler from Arthur Jocks. Balls and Cooley Boy hits it. Magnificent shot, six runs. Yeah, uh, Fielder was getting into position, but it was hit clean enough from Majamutu. The lone man fighting. High score of the innings for Unruly goes up to 26 with that maximum. And probably the, the one blemish on Chowinam's record now. And that was a good comeback there by China yeah. into his black hole inside really the edge, like a, more like a French cut. Really good, almost impossible to play shots with a ball like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's a spinner or a pacer, always difficult, always going to get you back down quickly. Only very few select batsmen can manage to get a good result off balls like that. And that's why you have to give credit to the bowlers, always. Oh, there's a good ball. Yes, very disciplined ball in here by the Phoenix team. So the ball in figures so far, Terrell four was one day 29 runs, two wickets. Kinsey Carmichael, four was one day 25 runs, two wickets. Liam Mohabi had a leg spinner, one over, one day 20 runs. Dina Charan and the captain, three overs, one day 14 runs, two wickets. And Derek Narayan, two overs, no day eight runs, two wickets. Picks up into the attack now. So. So Majimoto will be trying to put some respectable respectability to the, the total here by Anuori. Now Narayan, Narayan comes up also. Majimoto flips it. Down to mid wicket. He was converse, so one picks up and throws in. So one run there to Terence Majimoto. Then Samuel Rugby into strike. So Derek Narayan. The man with the golden arm having a good match. Two of us, eight runs, two wickets, and a century, a brilliant 110 
for Summit Park. Sammy Rugby, Mian Green, Top. Tops is back in the weeds. Now Ryan comes up past Empire. We'll see Rugby. Rugby is driving into the covers and there's no run. Still two and a two. Albi. Good ball in here so far by Narayan. Good line and Nets. Here in his pace. Right there. Tops is back. Mendonca standing up to the wicket. Narayan comes up those. And the full toss, which is for delivery and he just pulls it down to mid on. Chelsea Michael, Michael comes off the boundary and throws it. And one more run to the total. So, 100 up, 100 up for Anarini. So, Phoenix, the 108.2 overs. And Anarini, the 114.2 overs. Now, Ryan comes up first, Nagamoto, Nagamoto swipes outside the off, misses. Ball, pitch outside the off, but moving far away. They can keep it. Francis Mendoza kind of like picked up the bears, but the batsman was in the crease. So, so far, good bowling by Narayan, he's going his pace, mixing it up, slow balls, quicker balls, wider rough stump. Tinkin bowler from the commentator boot and comes up past the pump goes to pretty boy, pretty boy, takes it out. Ball comes down to Lamar and the fielder comes off the bung, he picks up under arms, which in the meantime, the cross is for one. Ball disturbs the stump, so there's going to be some repair work by the umpire. It brings Samuel Ragabir, Mian Top, attractive color there. Narayan comes up to Ragabir, and Ragabir hits it down to long run, and doesn't take a run. So basically, Nacho Mutu farming the strike from the non striker end. Ends it over, 15 overs complete. Five overs to go, so Matthew elaborating the proceedings so far. Well, Phoenix, very good day at the office for them, very good day at the office for Derek Narayan. It all started with a healthy partnership from Narayan and Chawinam, got them off to an absolute flyer of a start. Then Randa Wilson came, struck a few, Ramde, and then a, maybe a middle order collapse here. Ramde Hall with eight, Carmichael with six, and Mendonca with three. But Derek Narayan continued to strike the ball very well, 110 from 49, and he kept that run rate above 10, around 11, 12, and over. And then Inatul Abedin, Mahindra Prasad towards the end, playing quite a cameo. Abedin with 14 of seven, Mahindra with 10 of five. With 217 on the board, always a tough ask for Unruly. Dominic Ricky and Arif Mohammed never really got going. Troy Haley got a start, Suna Ryan struck some sixes, couldn't carry on, and nobody else really stood up. McNally went without scoring, a 10 ball duck for him, and then the lower order, Sultan with three, Rampasad with two, Aziz without scoring, and now Ragubi on two, with Majamutu on 29 of 23, the only bit of hope that has Unruly have seen, only bit of fight has come from Terence Majumutu who makes his way up now to 30 of 24 deliveries. So 116 required from 29 deliveries. Yeah, it seems like Majumutu has picked up an injury, like a tight injury um, from playing a couple of full shots. Chanam comes up first, and the edge is going to be out caught. Easy catch by Derek Narayan. Ragubir, hitting, wasn't for the pitch of delivery, off the outer portion of the bat, and Derek Narayan, a short head man, Took the catch, giving Dino Chariyam his third wicket. They're in a beautiful spell here, so and Rudy, very unruly, lose their ninth wicket. There is absolutely nothing that Derek Narayan cannot do. Got a century, three overs, two wickets for eleven, and now he's taken a catch. We can't keep him out of the game. He's done everything. Is he gonna take the gloves now? <laughs> Wow, wow, that's good ball in there by Derek Moran. You know, in, in cricket, um, when it's your day, it's your day. Um, it is. It, it doesn't matter what you do, you know. You bat, your ball, when the guards with you and the luck with you, it follows you around. And yeah, sometimes in cricket, when you're having a bad day, the ball follows you around, you're having an extremely bad day.
So man with the drum. Uh, so Mark as a, a, a Sachin Prasad, a youngster comes to the middle. Um, I'm not going to put it out there blatantly, but uh, a couple of chances off of Derek Narang and at the halftime I had to kind of pull him up and say, it's part of the game, it's only you today, but you could have been somebody else. But Exactly, that's the thing with the youngsters, they get too dejected too early. You know, in cricket, anything could happen. So I always tell people, just have a positive attitude and good spirit and just keep fighting at the game. Sometimes the fortune usually changes. Definitely, he's got quite a future. There's Sachin Prasad, still young, just one day, just one game. Not going to do much for the rest of your career. As Chowinam continues, 3.33 for 15. Very good bowling from him into his last over. Side off and left. 116 required from 26, almost impossible to get. 26.77 with one wicket in hand. So it's going to be up here to us as if possible now. I mean, quicker than anything could happen is a great game of curious uncertainty, but I can't see enough get him. Uh, yeah, Mark and, 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 and Mark, tomorrow Phoenix will play in the semi final, they'll take on New York Zalmi. They'll be playing without Derek Narain, of course, and uh, Derek Narain will be waiting with uh, Chris Patadin and Mark Puran and the boys from Majestic, who has had a very good season this year, too. Yes, uh, it's a good team, actually. Uh, good, good, good quality here, top pedigree. So it seems like Mahabia is going to point back into the attack, trying to get some respectability to his old figures. One over for 20 runs so far. And he's going to come into ball to Terence Nakamoto. Uh, yeah, dominating this play here from Phoenix. Uh, many are questioning the toss. Uh, on only having won the toss, led by uh, Terence Nakamoto. And quickly said they'll bowl. And much to the surprise of many of even their followers, why would you want to bowl when you have such a powerful batting lineup ahead of, ahead in front of you? And in fact, when you look at the first 10 overs of the game, they were actually played out of the game by 124 in the first 10 overs. Yeah, it was a good foundation by the opening player. Yeah, Mahadeo comes up close and Kuliba hits him on the ground for six runs. Oh my gosh, shooting somebody. Infinity. Yeah, somebody work will have to be performed on, uh, what is it? Infinity. Easy Terence, <laughs> infinities, infinities are not cheap. <laughs> Gotta take it easy. But take nothing away from that shot. Very good one that from Terence, his third six. And it seems like um, Majimoto is targeting Mohabia. Yeah, Mohabia has not had a good day. Went for 20 in his first over. Sionarain taking it to him and now the first ball. Gone for six from Majimoto. Although um, I wonder how much Mohabia will care considering 110 is needed from 23. Well, as a bowler, you just want to have a respectable bowling figures as well. So you don't want to be taken to the cleaners as well. It doesn't matter. How much runs, you know, your figures is your figures at the end of the day. Mohabe comes up for Sunya Vimoto, Marimoto pulls it. It's gone again. It's gone for six runs. Out on the ground. Six runs there. Beautiful shot there by Najimoto. Shot in the V got into it and swung it around. And that was six runs there by Najimoto Mati. Yeah, he's going to go down with a fight. Najimoto getting a couple of maximums in this over now. A little chat with Leon Mohabir. Want to win handsomely. This Phoenix. Well, cricket, as I say, game of glorious uncertainty. Good work at action there by Terence Najimoto. Um, it seems like they're targeting the, the spin bowler, Leon Mohabir. But cricket, that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just get a bad deal at the office, you just got to forget about it and move on and come again. All right? Tomorrow you might pick up six wickets or five runs. You never know. So, Najimoto, back in strike. Mohabe is turning to become the force in Najimoto. And he hits it! He hits it! He's gone! Six runs out in the back! Six runs! Three four shots! Three consecutive sixes of Leon Mohabe. Terence Najimoto is having a great day here at Pierce de Pan. He is, he is. Najimoto goes up to 48. Three in a row now from 
Cairns, Majamutu taking Mohabir to the cleaners. 98 from 21. I don't really think that's part of the question now. But Majamutu still looking to get those big overs. So exciting cooking here so far here by Terence Majamutu at Basie Park. Three sixes so far. Four delivery the over. Up he comes. Into both in Majamutu. And he plays it. Good delivery. Good comeback. Right in the black hole. He plays it down to deep midwick. He doesn't take the run. He's farming the strike. One more wicket to fall, so you could understand why Najimutu is trying to get as much as a strike as possible. Yeah, we have to remember, Leon Mohabir is still a quality bowler. Just not his day. Yeah, just a bad day at the office. And he hits it again, it's gone! Six more! Beautiful shot again, the Angle Cook Corner. Toss it up and Najimutu going for a big one. And 50. 50 for Terence Majimutu. He's brought it up from 30 deliveries. So in context, five overs to get that 54, six sixes, not in this over. Excellent batting there by Terence Najimoto, giving the crowd the crowd here a good treat here. Some big maximums here at the basic park as Mohamed comes in. Into the to Najimoto. Good delivery, good comeback, right in the black hole. Plays it down to long arm and the feeder comes off the bungee. Moran walks, chips, jumps, uh, picks up. That was an exciting over there by Terence Majimoto. Four big, huge sixes which went out of the playing area. Matthew, comment on those. Yeah, striking at its best for Majimoto. This is what he can do. It's what we've seen so much from Majimoto. 91 from three, from three overs. Andrew Mutu up to 55, 127 for 9. They've really gone after Mohabir. First over for 20, second for 25. Wow. So Ramya is into the attack now. Wow, that was a beautiful batting there by Terence Najimutu in that over. T20 for the typical T20 cricket you love to see. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, I'm lost for words here, man. But that was some excellent cricket. I mean, the crowd here in the park was being treated to some electric batting there by Terence Majimutu. Yeah, and it just shows that the amount of heart and resilience that, and effort that Majimutu puts into his game to pretty much be at an almost impossible run rate and still strike the ball like that. That is not an easy thing to do, so hats off to Majimutu for the innings he's played. Yes, that was very good batting there by Terence Najimutu. At least you want to go down fighting. You don't want to just go down just giving up. You know, you're, you're, you're the captain of the ship when the ship is sinking. You should be the last person to understand the, the, the ship. I mean, so good batting there by Najimutu so far. Excellent cricket, Sachin Prasad is at the non striker end. White helmet, blue pads, Hans Kimball. Nazimutu chatting away with Derek Arayan and Francis Mandanka. As the bowler is going to be taking up the attack. First over for Randial. Is that Hamendra Randial? So here comes Randial. Nazimutu in strike. Left arm. Good delivery, right in the black hole, hits it into his boot. Beautiful start there by Randial. Left arm spin. Around the wicket. So Terence Sajimoto, we know he's going to try to get some big ones here in this over. Comes up, tossed up. And Cody Boy on the back foot, your tossed up delivery. In style, hit it down to a long arm and doesn't take the single. Leon Mohabir feels on the rounds, it back to the bowler. So Mohabir went to the cleaners. Two overs for 45 runs. And Kulibar hits it. Beautiful shot again. Go over the long arm, Bungri. Six runs there to Najimoto. Good strike there by Najimoto. Yeah, good hit. Make that number seven now for Majimoto. Going after the spinners now, 85 from 15, he's got nothing to lose, one wicket in hand, 85 from 15, why not have a go? 
Yes, but he's nursing an injury as well, so that's probably why he's not really taking the singles. So Ramdiel, left arm, slow left arm, around the wicket. Up he comes, in Sinaja Motu. Short, and he hits it in the air. It seems like he's going to be in some trouble here. The ball drops short, and again he doesn't go for the single. Tigal McKenzie coming off the now, boundary in the ball dropping two bounces in front of him. Picks up on the arms, back to the bowler, and he looks to fight another day. Ramdiel, slow left arm, comes up. And Majimutu hits it this time. This time it's going, it's gone. It's gone for six runs. Going for the game by Majimutu. Good strike in here. Matthew coming to net with a view there. This is brilliant. That, that was not a bad ball from Ramdehal. Majimutu just picked it and got all of it. Bit of flight. And 79 now from 13. Six more to Majimutu. This one with an offer. And he gets this one over the infield. Now they'll take the single, but it's the end of the over. Majimutu, you can just see, going slowly across, slowly down the wicket. Yeah, so good batting by Majimutu. He's basically farming the strike. Um, so, Passad, job is just to get a single and give it to Majimutu. He's trying to put some respectability to this unruly total. But good cricket so far by both teams. And mathematically, the game's over now, 39 and over, not even Yuvraj Singh would be able to win this one. That is if every ball is legal, and if all the legal balls go for six. But still, Majumutu, eight sixes take about 68 of 37 deliveries, has really brought some sort of salvation for the unruly side to salvage something from this game. Yeah, good work at batting there by Nacho Mutu. And it just showed you that if another batsman on the top order batsman had stuck around, you never know what could be happening. That could have come up with um, Chase, 217, a big total. But sometimes big total, the batsman usually to stands up. Now comes up, goes to Nacho Mutu ball, hits him in the pad, goes down to short. Finally, if you keep keeper Mungo up, it drops around and there's no run. So the LPL coming to an end. Yep. Two matches remaining tomorrow and then the final on Tuesday. DC take on Sunrisers. And do or die. Now Ryan comes up versus Nachimutu. He hits it. It's another big six. Over the long one. In the trees, in the bushes. Good hit in there by Terence Nachimutu. Yeah. Hits that with ease. It wasn't a big wind up. He just played out and the ball came up nicely at the bat. And puts it over the boundary for another six. Really, really good shot, and he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna be challenging Derek Narai here to see who could probably hit the most sixes. Derek Narai hit, not, had hit ten. Comes up also Nacho Mutu, continues to right in the black hole. Nacho Mutu's got nine. And Cody Boy, with the bye play with the Francis Mendonca, picks up chosen down to Narai. <laughs> Lovely cricket here. Good banter by the players. All these guys know each other. Yeah, definitely. Another thing is sportsmanship in this game. Love to see, even though 72 is required from 9. Always love to see that little bit of comedy and humour between the boys. Cuts up. Misses. White signal by the umpire. There's a chance to stomp into. So, with the narrow in action, it seems to bring the ball back. So, Nachimutu, playing an entertaining innings here at the Paisley Pond. Comes up also Nachimutu, and he seems like he's bowling. Ends the innings, Nachimutu playing across the line. Derek Narayan's child picked up his third wicket. This is fantastic bowling there by Derek Narayan. 3.4 overs, no maidens, 24 runs, 3 wickets. And Matthew, the match has come to an end. Congratulations to the Phoenix franchise here as the bowlers and the players go out to give their commemoration to the other team. This is Mark O'Brien, so thanks for watching and thanks for listening. Matthew is going to elaborate in the summary of the baseball. Really good performance from Phoenix all round. 
led by Derek Narayan, 110 of 49 deliveries, 6 fours and 10 sixes. Charlie Lamb got going, 39 of 19. Randall Wilson, 18 of 12, among the top scorers for Phoenix, as well as Inatul Abedin with 14 of 7, and Mahindra Prasad, 10 of 5 at the end. Things were looking very tough, even at half time for Unruly, requiring 218 for victory, 217 to tie. Dominic Ricky, Arif Mohammed came out, Ricky departed for 13, whilst Mohammed went for 8. Troy Haley, 2 fours and a 6, got him up to 80 of 8 deliveries. Keron Sunarine really struck it, struck it hard, 3 sixes, but couldn't carry on after that. The lower order collapsing, Sultan with 3. Rampasar with two, Aziz without scoring, Ragabir with two, and Tamesh Pasar without scoring that out. But the main man for the early innings, Terence Majinotu, 74 of 41 deliveries, 1 4 and 9 sixes. Really got the game, maybe not closer than it could have been, but in the end, unruly, falling short by 70 runs. Yeah, I have been Hey, Look, yeah, give me this time. I go give this time. Yeah, take, take. I have the Lenny. 